Hello and welcome to this Fantasy Grounds Unity video. I'll be showing off some features within version 4.2 uh, with some new image functionality that we've added in. And uh, the images will be those of our in-house artist Joshua Watma. I'll be showcasing uh, the new code that was developed by our uh, developer Carl Pinder and some really pretty cool features. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and show this off. Okay, so I'll move my picture out of the way here, and I'm just going to open our assets window, make sure I'm in images, uh, and then from here, let me slide this down a little bit, I will look for a background. If you have a lot of assets, this may take a, a little while for the very first time to run, uh, but it should be fast from that point on. All right, so I've got some backgrounds loaded, and I'm going to just choose a kind of simple background here. Create an image record out of that, and then I'm going to zoom extents to just kind of make it bigger. You can also use your mouse wheel to kind of just zoom in and out if you would like. All right, so I'm going to resize this. I'm holding control and then click dragging to kind of move things around. All right, next I want to do, um, I'm going to show like a little small building so here's the paint mode so you can just kind of draw and paint stuff here and you could change your colors and you know do lots of stuff that way or change the width of the line that's all kind of the way it was before i'm going to hit delete clear that out and instead of doing that uh, let's do reset we're going to uh, use an image brush so let's grab a um, brush it's like a wall and I'm looking for, in this case, I think I want to do like maybe a, I don't know, maybe like a wooden wall or something like that. So let me see if I can find a good wall image here. Actually, we could use this little stone wall. So we'll use this little stone wall here. I'll drag that in to my stroke. And you see here, if I was to draw something like a rectangle, as I draw it out, it'll create the room here. Uh, this is the way it was before. You'll notice the corners when I zoom in, the corners are set to have a bevel. If I change it to a rounded corner, then if I do the same thing, uh, it'll just round it out a little bit more. Those look very similar in this particular graphic, but sometimes it's more obvious. And then the mitered one is uh, basically gonna have a harder, sharper edge. So you can kind of choose whichever one you want. In this case, I think, um, you know, the, the original bevel one looks good. So I'll just delete these. All right, so I have a stroke, but I want to also paint the floor at the same time. So let's look for a uh, wooden floor. And here I've got a couple different ones. This is from our coastal map pack. This is from our siege map pack too. And then this is from our shock bolt game masters uh, art kit, which is included within fantasy grounds. Um, for folks. So I'm going to grab this uh, wood fill here and just drag it in here. And now if I do that same thing, see I've got my fill and my stroke. If I drag this room out, you'll see I've got a little wooden area here. And I could um, basically shift if I, if I drag another area here, you can see it overlaps. Do control Z to undo that one. If I go to add mode, now if I drag this out, you'll see it added to it. And now I can drag and make another area here, make two rooms connected here. Let's add another little connection here. And then let's do something different. Let's add a circular area. So I'm going to hold down shift to make sure that it's round. And so now I've added a little circular area. And you see that all of the, the floors will just kind of tile in and amongst those. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I can do is I can go to edit fill and now I can, uh, hold down control and use my mouse wheel to zoom up or down if I would like. I can hold shift and I can make it, okay, so let's say all of my uh, floors are going to be angled here. And then I can also do stuff like I can change the coloring. So I can hold down like G uh, and then that changes the amount of green content. Blue changes the amount of uh, blue content and R obviously changes the amount here. If I want it to be transparent for some way, uh, reason, I can hold down A and I can make it kind of fade into the background, which could be useful for a couple of different things. 
Um, the other thing is you can do uh, F and then fade it out and it'll fade out the edges. And that could be useful in a couple situations as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back to the way it was. But I do want to leave it slanted. And I want to demonstrate that if I was to make a new, let's call this uh, paint layer, um, wooden house. <clears throat> you could go back and then add um, some walls and stuff. So let's go to line of sight, duplicate paint layer as walls. And you'll see it went ahead and created all the walls for me. So now if I have line of sight turned on and I put some torches and some other stuff in here, um, then it would basically, you know, have line of sight for my players. If I uh, want to add walls or uh, sorry, doors and stuff like that, you could basically just edit these and draw doors over top. I'll just show that very briefly here. So let's grab a door. So to, to add a door, you would basically want to make a door graphic probably and then swap that out here. And then one thing I like to do is just kind of uh, get rid of this middle line because you don't want to have a wall in between. So I draw a straight line over top. Go to select mode, select those, delete that. And now here you can take this and you can say uh, delete that selected point. And now you've got a little opening here. So if I was to then grab a person, let's see, shift this over, oops, move this over for a sec. If I was to... Open my combat tracker here and just put a little person in here and do line of sight uh, right here. Now this little person as they move around would see that there's a door here that they could open and close. Yeah, sorry. As they move around, they could open the door and they could go in. And explore around like so. But we're going to focus on just the drawing stuff for now. Uh, there's a lot of videos. Josh Watma every Saturday afternoon does a full video showing how he creates from nothing to something very like uh, beautiful by the end of the of the session. Those are all available on Twitch uh, and on YouTube to watch later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off line of sight and then go back to just going to paint mode. And I'm going to show you that if I want to draw a new section, let's say I want to draw a new little, like maybe an outbuilding over here, you're, you will notice that this used the original fill. So if I really want to take that one, let's undo that one. If I want to copy the same settings that I've done here, um, let's go ahead and just, I'm going to make the tint different just so you can see. Let's hold down G, uh, let's see. Grab my paint layer. All right, so let's make this really weird, funky color wood. So if I want this to be the same for a new section that I draw, then I'm going to use this eyedropper to say sample the paint settings. And now you'll see that it, it changed my fill to match all of these settings that I've already done. So if I do a new section here, now I can uh, go back into just overlap mode, draw out a new area here or click, 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 double click, you know, whatever I want. Or I can go back to add mode and I can continue to add a section. Sorry, I can go back to add mode and then I can add a new section. It should, oops, should actually expand those. Um, well, it's like that did not work, but it, sh it should allow me to add to those after the fact. Um, the other things you can do is you can go to subtract mode and now I can basically remove sections or I can cut away sections here. Like so. Uh, and then I can also do intersects which would basically um, intersect with the area that I want. So if I wanted to just intersect and say just show me stuff that's going to be here, there we go, it'll get rid of everything <laughs> except for that area there. So um, yeah, so lots of different options here, overlap, normal, subtract, and intersect, different corner types, different end caps you can do. Uh, end caps would be, let's see if I want to clear this out, image fill, uh, let's see, click on this button here, <clears throat> and let's actually, I'm going to delete this, delete this. 
And then I'm going to show you very briefly how you can do different end caps. So here's the default end cap is basically going to be a, just a butt end cap. So I'm going to do a click. And then if I want to do a straight line, I'll hold down shift. And you see it'll lock in at the different angles here. So if I want to do that diagonal here, I'll do that. And if I zoom in, you'll see it just basically has a, a straight line edge. If I want it to be rounded, I'll do the same thing. If I zoom in, it'll have more of a rounded edge. And if I want to do a projecting one, so slightly different uh, style on those. This particular image is maybe not the best for demonstrating that, but um, the other thing you could do, let's see, let's clear this away. Uh, an example of maybe like a little river, or not a river, but like a little lake or something like that. So let's do, I think the coastal pack, uh, coast has a nice brush that I could use here. Uh, so let's grab this brush. Let's put it in here and uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. So it's not quite so large. All right, so if I was to draw with this, Basically, you can get kind of a cool little effect there. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add a fill layer. So I'm going to go back and add, uh, I think I've got water. Let's get a new kind of fill. All right, so there's some waters here. And I believe I have a couple different waters. I think there's one that in particular I'm looking for that looks really good. Oh yeah, every time. So it's looking for underwater. There we go, water one coast. So let's go back to here. All right, so now if I do that same thing and then draw it out. All right, you see it's got it backwards, right? So I wanna undo that and I wanna go back to my fill and I wanna flip my stroke by using this flip horizontal and just basically flop the image over. So now if I draw it out, you'll see that it starts to There we go. Um, I didn't do the greatest job <laughs> of kind of drawing that out, but uh, you can kind of get the idea. And then I can add to that. Let's say I go back to an ellipse mode here. Add a little section off to here. Oops. Let's go in add mode. There we go. So I got like a little bump out here. Um, let's do maybe one more right here. There we go. So this is our little lake. And then if I want to uh, add a like a effect where it looks like the water is moving, then I can go to the effects layer and I can say, um, let's grab water. And you see that makes the whole map kind of have a water effect, which we don't want. Instead, I want to use, um, select the painting one and then say create, there we go. And now I can do water, get rid of this one. So now it's only going to be this middle section that's going to have the water. So basically use this create using painting as a mask, select your layer that you want it to use. And then when you do that, it will actually draw that on there. And so if I select this here, I can change, you know, speed, slow it down. So it's just a little bit of movement, but that'll give it kind of a cool effect. Uh, and so you can combine all of these effects and you can kind of mix and match them and come up with some really pretty neat uh, items using the fill layers and the paint strokes and the various types of uh, corners and additions and stuff. You can continue to use all the other features like adding st stamps and tiles and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, definitely check out Josh's streams later on if you want to get more details or if you have any specific questions on how to do something. He's an expert at how to, uh, you know, kind of maximize your capabilities with Fantasy Grounds. Thanks for watching. Take care.